from Missouri is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield one and a half minutes to the gentle lady from New York. The gentlewoman from New York is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I never thought in the United States Congress, the home of the free, of the brave, of those taxpayers that work hard every day and entrust us to spend their money wisely, that we would see a spending bill of this magnitude that would saddle the future children with debt. The intrusion in this bill, the government control, the debt, the taxes, the mandates, the, the disincentivizing of work in production that will continue to lead to more labor shortages, that will lead to more supply chain issues, and make things worse. And what's even worse in all of that is the name of the bill, that the people in this Congress are trying to fool the American people by calling it a Build Back Better bill. It is a disaster. When we talk about putting Americans first, what does this bill do? At a time when we have the worst crisis at the border, $100 billion is going to go to amnesty and benefits for those who are entering the country illegally at a time when we are seeing a rise in fentanyl deaths due to what's crossing over our border, child trafficking, sex trafficking. And then look at Big Brother, the government intrusion part of this bill, to double the number of IRS agents to go after Americans to spy on their bank accounts. The crushing energy implications of this bill at a time when we are seeing a record cost increase on gas prices, on electricity, on heat, and we are about to face the most expensive holiday season as a result. I yield to the gentlelady from New York. In addition to that, the taxes, the mandates. And where are my moderate friends on the other side of the aisle? who committed to vote against this bill unless there was a CBO score. You have been, mis you've been untruthful with the American people and they will not forget what is occurring here today. Do not destroy, destroy the very country that my parents came here to pursue the American dream. The gentleman from Missouri